Well, hello my good friends of YouTube. I hope you're all well and uh, it's getting to uh, that time of the year of uh, Christmas and Santa comes and comes down the old chimney and drops us off some presents. <laughs> well guys, um, in my last video, I believe it's my last video where I was uh, explaining to you guys that I'm hoping to get some ferrites, uh, some quite decent sized ferrites. Well, I've got some and I've made a nice transformer. And <clears throat> it's giving out about, I'll probably say about between two to three thousand volts, something like that. And I'm hoping to get some more cable after Christmas or at some point and make it larger. I'll show you all in a minute. And uh, <clears throat> I only got 20 meters, so I was unable to wound around as many turns as I could, but um, enough for it to give out quite some hefty current. I'm using three millimeter cable, so it's quite quite wide. Um, it's uh, earthing cable. Uh, I wanted the best I could get, really, not too thick and not too little, because I wanted to try and get as much current out of this transformer as possible. Uh, because I, it's a few things I want to get together at some point uh, next year for you guys. I've got quite a lot of things I'm um, hoping to do to uh, try and increase the amount of views on the on the channel because it would be nice. Because whatever I get from YouTube, it uh, it all helps to uh, you know to make the channel grow. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So I've got a new camera, I've got a Canon um, E50, it's uh, quite a nice camera, uh, it's perfect for making the old videos to you guys and recording the old projects and things that we're going to mentally get up to. I've <laughs> uh, got a nice light on the top to uh, give me a little bit of brightness, I can either make it warm white or white white. So I think it's 2700 to 5000 um, K something like that. And yeah, it's it's pretty good. Quite bright. Oof, God, it's too bright. I think it's about 700 lumens. I think something like that. It's really nice. Pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> just got it off um, Amazon. I needed one quick for you know doing videos and stuff. Uh, a good friend of mine, um, John Dragonman, his brother Alex is trying to sort me out one from AliExpress. I thought there was quite a bag, bad uh, backlog with those, so, but. Uh, he got his within seven days, so that's not too bad at all coming from there. Anyway, let's get to the action. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. Right, let me just turn the old screen around so I can see what I'm doing. Actually, I need it that way to put it around there because what I'm going to show you guys is that just there. And that, it's, uh, I've got it on manual focus here, so just give it a second. There we go. You can see the the flipping carnage that this thing is able to do with that wire melted. I mean, just check that flipping wire out. I mean, it's Jesus. Give that some quite some current. I mean, it takes quite a few um, Celsius to uh, to really melt copper. But this is the ferrite transformer just here. And yes, it's rather large. So you can imagine I can get quite a more number of turns on there I could even have it come right out to here I mean the insulation between one cable and the next cable and next to it is quite substantial so I can really you know beef up some windings on this I did do one um, a couple of years back where I had these types of ferrites on a large roll of wire but it wasn't quite as thick as this I think it was a little bit thinner than that I think it was about just under two millimeters wide I think but this stuff is just is around about three millimeters, so yeah, it's got some hefty current. I'm running it off a ZVS. Um, got some LiPo uh, 18650 battery banks there. Each one's giving out about 24 volts. So in series, I'm getting 48 volts DC. I'm <coughs> going into the old ZVS, which I use for my induction heating. Which I've got another one for induction heating, which is just down there. Can I zoom into that? Yeah, there we go. See if I can focus that in yeah so that will help towards melting some metal at some point when I do a video I've got a nice big capacitor bank to uh, to put onto it I've got that one there 
and I've got these which I've built up as well for the induction heating because yes I really want to melt some metal guys <clears throat> nice cap yep isn't it lovely 5000 volts DC nice little cap there so um, yes I uh, at some point next year as well guys I'd like to do uh, something for you subscribers um, some sort of competition where you could win some ferrite cores either some U cores like that one there and there um, or these ones here which uh, would be nice for my subs um, there's a couple of blocks there so I've got some quite large ferrites look at the size of those bloody things <clears throat> or I could even sort out some of these which uh, I had eight of those I've stuck them all together to make a nice large well basically like two U core ferrites just like those but a little bit bigger <laughs> and it flipping works so well to glue these I use Gorilla Glue and use clamps like these to really squeeze them in um, to, to be fair guys I had to use this because these weren't wide enough I had to use these this to get them inside and give them a nice squeeze as soon as I put the glue on to really squeeze that you know to get that gap as tiny as possible between two cores and this works a treat as you will see in a bit <clears throat> so yeah at some point next year beginning of next year I'm gonna do a competition for you subscribers and the lucky winner will be drawn on the video you know when I do the video and uh, the only people who can submit to the competition will be people who've been with me for more than six for uh, six months and have watched quite a lot of my videos which I should be checking your um, channels as well guys to see what you've been watching to see if you've actually been watching my videos all the way through and you've not been skipping any I promise you I will I mean this is these are cost me 50 UK pounds and that's without shipping so I'm willing to do that for one subscriber that lucky subscriber hopefully will be one of you guys <laughs> so let's get this on the ball and first let me show you the what it does to this which is so flipping nice and then of course I'll show you the arc of it I've got quite a lot of stuff uh, I want to show you guys uh, in the next videos which will be good for you some good ideas to show you now oh, we won't be needing this light I need to help me zoom in on this don't worry I'm gonna focus it so yeah I want, I want to I want a hundred likes for this channel guys for this video should I say I need to give me a hundred likes and that will make me determined to do a competition do you know the amount of ozone I get off this is absolutely insane I'm telling you it's given off easily half an amp right this is on 24 volts isn't that gorgeous this is 48 volts I know right <laughs> Jesus the flipping ozone is intense oh my Jesus, I love the smell of ozone I know it's really bad for your rep for your um, I can't even really say it for your lungs and breathing and stuff I can't even say it but I'm sure one of you guys will tell me in the comments below oh that is just can you see the ozone at the uh, corona build up on the bottom towards that bottom left well towards here down here there's a really load of ozone around here just check it out guys you see that ozone oh my god it's so sexy <laughs> right let me show you some art let's just hand it back out again get it in focus I need to go over there and turn the brightness back up again well, actually to be fair brightness I mean the lights up I'll just use this 
it's not too bright and it gives you just amount. I love that warm color against things it really shows everything out doesn't it you know instead of like instead of blah, 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 the cool look I think the warm look makes things look more it makes things more contrast and stand out a little bit I think <clears throat> all right so let's just disconnect this I don't want to damage this I've got quite a few of these actually I think these were strobes for probably other cameras and somebody said they think that these were strobes for um, aircraft which I'm not going to argue <laughs> Let's put that back over here with the, la with the rest of them. I put this across the terminals of this and the bulb just blew straight away. <laughs> Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous insulators. Aren't they gorgeous guys? Really nice. And what about these? Not that. That is very sexy, yes, but they are very nice. <clears throat> I'm going to hopefully make a transformer of them at some point, whenever. I'm going to make, uh, just change the, uh, well, this is going to be a top load, toroidal, for my Tesla coil, which I should be building next year as well, guys. Right, and this, in, this, uh, yeah, I've already told you the voltage of this. Right, let's just get on with it. So, let me just put this on here. On this crappy little. Give me one sec. <clears throat> Actually, I'll just hold it and I'll just show you. I could do with somebody in here, to be fair. I'll hook it on the wire. Right, first. No, so this is just straight for it, shall we? Make sure that I'm in focus on there, guys. Just give me a sec. There we go. Yeah, I know. See? Melting not. Let's, let's, let's let it melt. See? Yeah. I know, it's insane. That lot. Just, I just flicked it off. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, using a bit of a hammer there, guys, just to hold that down. Because as soon as you start it up, you hear quite a bit of vibration. So that's just about perfect. A little bit of tape here, just to hold these sides together. But um, yeah, it's quite easy to wind this, it was. I just took it in the house and the wire that I had, the 20 meters on a spool, and just wound, wound backwards and forwards like that. Um, <clears throat> I'm also gonna tell you, uh, da, 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 da. so yeah, I do believe that it. I've got these up for a, make a spark gap from the old local B&Q. <clears throat> Right, so that is it. Let me just flick this screen around so I can talk to you. Uh, make sure I'm in focus. Oh, look at that. I love this new camera, you know, it's flipping awesome. Right, guys, so uh, wish you all a happy Christmas and I uh, wish you all the best for 21. Bloody hell, can you believe that we're in 21 already? Near enough. It's flipping crazy. Where have the years gone? I think I started in 2012, I think, or 2013, something like that, my first videos, and the years have just flown past. Honestly, it's insane. Um, <clears throat> but yes, you've seen me from and all the way to now, we're all. <laughs> so yeah, give us some thumbs up, guys. Um, I want 100 thumbs up on this uh, video. If I don't get 100 thumbs up, I'm not doing the competition. You do something for me, and I'll do something for you, okay? Yeah? Please, for me? I haven't, I don't even know if I've had a hundred thumbs up. Ah, yes I have. I have on a certain video, which I was very naughty on, which uh, 
it was it was pretty good day. Right, look after yourselves, be safe, whatever you're doing, guys, uh, guys and girls, whatever you're doing. Um, please don't uh, follow or copy what I do. It's at your own risk. It's uh, very dangerous. All the things I do. Uh, let me be the fool. <laughs> so, see you on the next video, guys. Take care. There's the off button on the.